Hi and welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Avenger product video. Uh, in this video I would like to show you the pitch and the mod envelopes of Avenger. And uh, well, what is a pitch? What is a mod envelope? The pitch, basically they are both envelopes you can use for anything in the plugin. But uh, the pitch is uh, right from the beginning uh, bipolar. It has two directions. Uh, the mod envelope can have this too, but you have to set up this first. But in the end, they are both very similar. That's why I group them in this one video. So let's start with the pitch envelope first. Um, as you can see, this is uh, polyphonic. Um, every note you play has its own envelope. Increase the time a bit. So this is now a full range of 24 semitones. Of course we can add more points here, as much as you want. Basically, the range defines how strong the pitch movement is. And we also have a speed parameter here, which can go quite fast and really slow. 10 times as fast and 10 times as slow. You can also set clean, divi clean dividers here. For example, uh, two times, three times, four times as fast or one quarter one-tenth and so on. So these numbers, especially the quarter and the eight, are still synced to your song tempo. And um, yeah, um, let me show some presets. This one demonstrates, for example, the steps parameter here. If this is turned to zero, the pitch slide is smooth. And if this is turned Turned up, you will hear the the single notes in the during the pitch slide. You also have a flip, which turns the whole thing here upside down. And the key track, the key track has nothing to do with the pitch envelope. It's basically the key track of your oscillator for effect sounds where you want to have the same sound on all notes not performing any higher pitches when you use higher notes. And you can even flip it, flip it so the higher notes are on the lower half of the keyboard. So let's reset this. The pitch band, for example, um, defines how... So let me show the pitch wheel. At the moment it's set to uh, two half tones and of course you can set this to 24 and 24 down, 24 up and 24 down. And there's a lag parameter too, which which smooths your movement. So it's, it's uh, kind of lagging behind what you do here. And if you do that on zero, it's much quicker, but not as smooth. So let's step to some the presets. This one shows another thing, the tempo sync, but I will show this in the mod envelope. This is uh, better to be shown here. So let's switch back to default settings. What you also can find here in the uh, pitch section is the portamento, are the portamento modes. So for example, you all may, note the, uh, may know the legato. So uh, 
the note slides as you it becomes monophonic and if you press two notes at once it slides to the note which you press at second the time can be set here and even the curve this is bended up the curve and it sounds like a siren or alarm this way uh, what do we also have here uh, we have the poly mode which is which is meaning that every note is bended except you press the same note all the time and we added a split key here this means you can set for example the C2 which is here in the middle of your keyboard and now you can press bass notes which do not slide but the upper half is doing the poly if you do not have the split this would sound like this you hear the bass will will slide too and we have a poly legato which is quite cool because this is the best of both worlds it does um, legato a glide but it lets you play a chord which does not glide I think you can hear this quite cool, uh, quite good. That the, the initial hit of the chord well does not dot, does not make any pitches. If you would do this in the poly mode, you hear that it does a uh, glide, which is not not very cool. But on the poly mode, it does not. Okay, so this is uh, the pitch area of course you can have up to eight pitch nay, up to six sorry up to six uh, pitch sections here pitch envelopes and they can be routed uh, routed here in the routing menu and they even can be turned off or on so you can bypass them quickly and they also can be enabled here okay so let's Switch to the mod envelope, which is uh, located here. The mod envelope is basically the same here. You can create something like this, but it does not do anything at first. You first have to route it to some other thing here, maybe the pitch two. this let us use the cutoff for example and the cool thing here is it's tempo synced as you can see here uh, I think it's a bit tiny for YouTube but here is a 16 this means you have 16 bars here And you can go to 196 or something. Um, this is quite long. This is nearly freeze, freezing the signal. Um, but let's get to 8, for example. So now the cool thing is you are automatically in sync mode you can turn this off then there is no more sync you have milliseconds here 
Of course, you can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse wheel. Mouse wheel. Uh, let us switch to sync mode again. So the cool thing here is now you can add the points on a kind of a grid here. They snap to the node values of your BPM. So as you can see, let us increase the speed. This now plays only once, but you can of course loop the entire sequence here. And of course the points can be banded. Uh, let us increase the speed. Of course, you can seamlessly uh, change the speed. Uh, there's another mode called uh, Ping Pong, which plays forwards and backwards. And we also have a uh, loop and release mode. This means it loops as long as you hold the key, but if you remove the key, it will jump into the release phase here. If you release a note, you see it jumps to the release marker here. And well, what else do we have? We, of course, you can delete points anytime by right clicking on them. Um, let's focus on the sync mode again. We also have the possibility to switch to triplets. This means it's still in sync mode, but let's move to triplet again. But now your grid is based on triplets, not on quarter notes. Again, we have the um, mode of being a bipolar envelope means that it can go in two directions. This is the middle middle line is basically your setting here on the target and then it can go upper or higher than this. This means it only can go higher. Okay. So we have different trigger modes which at the moment, they are set to all oscillators, which means uh, the mod envelope is polyphonic. Every note you press will have its own mod envelope. and uh, But this is not always what you want. Uh, first MIDI note means the mod envelope is a global one, monophonic, and it's triggered with the first note you play. So you can press... Oh, let me... Switch back to loop mode. You can press more keys and they are always synced. Uh, furthermore, you have the option to choose uh, the last MIDI note and you even can trigger the, this mod envelope by an arpeggiator or a specific drum. You can say Whenever the bass drum plays on your drum sequencer here, then the mod envelope is started, which is also nice for doing crazy things or even basic things like uh, sidechain simulation. So here you can have up to eight mod envelopes, which is really a lot to keep everything possible which you ha may have in mind for modulations. 
We also have presets here again. And yeah, what at the moment it's rooted on uh, cutoff, but like I said, you can root this to anything. Now we do FM modulation plus transpose. But it uh, can be, of course, sand effects or the mix setting of your unisono. Yeah, so basically that's the modulation envelope and uh, this is the main envelope you you will use all the time for modulations. Uh, what is also a great thing, I already showed this in the amp section, is that you can root it with one click here, for example, to the amplitude envelope. So now it's rooted very easily to the mod uh, to the amp as the main envelope. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. See you in the next video. 